I'm Jim McConnell. I'm running for re-election to my seat in House of Representatives in Cheshire 12. I'm running for re-election to my seat in uh, Cheshire 12, which is the towns of Richmond and Swansea. I'm running for quite a number of reasons. First of all, I am very active politically and always have been. And when you're state representative, you're politically active on steroids. Uh, it gives you the opportunity to meet every presidential candidate that comes through the state. It gives you an opportunity to uh, get involved in just about any issue that comes along. Uh, there are a number of issues that I'm concerned about. First of all, the business climate in this state. We have ten counties in the state. Five of them are doing extremely well because they benefit from the intellectual horsepower that spills out of Boston. That, of course, is unique. We have five other counties, Carroll, Coas, Grafton, Sullivan, and, yes, Cheshire County, which is Charlie Arlinghouse, columnist at the uh, Union Leader and the head of the Josiah Bartlett Center describes as circling the drain. And unfortunately, that's the case. We had a house just recently in Swansea, uh, very nice colonial house, I think four bedroom, maybe three, swimming pool, cabana, two car garage, enclosed and connected to the house. Uh, I don't know how many square feet, but I'm told it's in mid condition. And I'm told that 10 years ago, that house would have sold for 600 some thousand dollars and just sold for 240. And obviously, that's a reflection of the fact that we have no jobs here. I'm told we have an excess of 2 million square feet of industrial space here in Cheshire County that nobody has any interest in. And the reason no one has any interest in coming into these locations and coming into the county, and in fact in most of New Hampshire outside those five counties that are doing well and benefiting from the intellectual horsepower that spills out of Boston, which is unique, uh, is simply the fact that we are competing with states that have no corporate income tax. We've just tried to reduce ours. We've succeeded a little bit uh, from 8.5%. Uh, we also have something called the business enterprise tax, which means that in the event that you have an employee, you have to pay a tax every time you write him a check. And uh, the idea that you have to pay a tax on your employees, you know, when you pay taxes, you get less of everything. And employment should be recognized as one of those things. So the long and the short of it is, I think that we are in a very difficult situation. We are competing with states like South Dakota, Wyoming, Texas, although Texas has some nuisance taxes, and uh, Nevada, which have no corporate income tax. And if someone's required uh, for some 50 Fortune, Fortune 50 company to decide where a plant is going to be located, New Hampshire is going to make the very first cut, and they're going to wind up in the trash can. Uh, we will wind up in the trash can is a better way to put that, but the fact is that New Hampshire is simply not competitive. And we can't hope to reverse that unless we make some big changes with respect to our corporate taxes. To do that, we have to reduce our overall spending. Um, the spending at this point is, in my view, beyond what it should be. I'd like to see it reduced further. Uh, the fact is that, as Meldrum Thompson used to say, low spending equals low taxes. And for us to be competitive, we have to see lower spending so we can reduce taxes to become competitive. Without that, we're in desperate trouble. Now, the other thing that got me involved in particular in running for the New Hampshire House is the fact that we had something called methyl tertiary butyl ether in the uh, water in West Swansea, which is part, of course, of my constituency. It was also a problem in parts of Richmond. And MTBE is something once in the water, uh, it's very difficult to get out. Uh, it's a known carcinogen in animals, but there have been no human tests. So it's my argument that in all likelihood, once they finally get around to testing humans, and I tried to get something along those lines done but couldn't, um, it's going to be determined that it is in fact carcin a carcinogen for humans as well. The truth is that that's a very difficult problem, and it's a very serious problem. Once it's in the water, it's extremely difficult to get out, and there is, in my opinion, the concentration of cancers, which I'd like to refer to as a cancer cluster, but we tried to get that investigated and they indicated that it didn't meet the criteria for a cancer cluster, although, frankly, I think that whatever criteria they've got doesn't meet the common sense requirement. In any event, um, those are the issues that drive me. I've also been a, a very vocal opponent of the uh, pipeline that was proposed recently, thinking that it did no good for New Hampshire, and when they finally pulled the plug on it, they indicated they didn't have any customers. So. Uh, I'm not interested in seeing the electric ratepayers pay for a pipeline that has no customers. Thank you.